down from St. Joseph's Toms River as we celebrate our morning mass for the uh, fourth Tuesday in the Easter season. Our mass intentions today, for the day, are Jean Lewandowski, requested by Marion Simbab and family, and Anne Ingebrand, uh, by her daughter Carolyn. Let us now pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I, I love you above all things, and, and I, I desire, desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our entrance antiphon. Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. All, All you nations, nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord. Of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. 
This man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The feast was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I'm sure every one of us can think of times when we become just so familiar with things like our surroundings that we basically no longer see them. It's almost like you, you can't see the, the, you know, the, the trees through the forest. I mean, think about it. Reading our, our own writing, we can basically we can miss obvious typos. We ignore the, the note on our mirror or our fridge or computer screen or next to our phone. You know, sometimes we've seen it every single day for a long time. I mean, has anyone ever walked around an item we temporarily placed on the floor? until the, the magic. But, uh, you know, it's, what's obvious is that it's, it's right in front of us and we can't see it. And, you know, the people gathered in front of the Jerusalem temple, they demand to know if Jesus is the Christ. But he refuses to answer them. 2020 hindsight, we can really start to wonder why they don't see what's right before them, right there in clear sight. They have become so stagnant and, and stuck in their own lives, rituals, holy days, and, and narrow perspective that they fail to see the works of the Father being performed right there before them. The mystery is, is unfolding right in front of their eyes, but they're too comfortable in the way of things. While routines and that um, familiarity can, can offer very much needed stability. They can also be a, a crutch that prevents us from opening our eyes and following Jesus. Sometimes it takes a tragedy. We know that so much right now. It could take a surprise or just simply an, an unexpected encounter to wake us up. The reason our lives are interrupted at this time is tragic. But think about what we can make out of it. What can with a few families who, well, they started to pray together, something that they didn't do. And one family actually said that they had a, a child that was having a little issues, and they started praying the rosary with that child. What a beautiful thing to, to start, especially in the month of May. Actually, they started a few weeks ago. But there was an invitation, uh, an individual, he also told me that, that you know, prayer calms his anxiety. How many of us can get anxious right now? Just a little t prayer time. Now, this was something that, even though he was a bit older, he, 
You know, he said he never really truly experienced this, this calming prayer, you know, at this point of his life. Some others, when I was talking with them, they were just thinking about going to start that. And yes, I'm going to do that. That would be wonderful. Well, take the plunge. Don't just think about it. Maybe we should welcome moments when our, our lives are unsettled. For then, our stagnation is broken open, and we can truly see. The church may Christ guide them in shepherding their people with a spirit of love, compassion, and solidarity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may God grant them wisdom in carefully addressing problems that face their communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the homebound, and the lonely, may God bring them comfort, love, and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community and for all of those who may be struggling during these times with uncertainty, anxiety, dealing with addictions, may the Lord in his favor grant us strength in remaining faithful to him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have been so impacted by the coronavirus, may God grant them healing, relief, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died in the light of Christ, may they be welcomed into the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those special intentions that we bring with us now in the quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank God for listening to our prayers, and we ask God to grant what we need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, 
that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to be right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment. In the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, <coughs> giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and David our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. Your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. communion antiphon. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. This most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a couple of announcements. I believe at 3 o'clock today is a, a rosary. I think it's happening every day through, through May for our 
month of Mary. And uh, is there anything else? I think that might be it. Um, I'll be having a, uh, a live. Father Scott, because you can't see him, he's behind you. He's going to have a little talk. And uh, we'll have our, uh, our novenas today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, thy praises we sing, who reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall shall renew the the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for for us us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray pray for for us who have recourse to you. O Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify thy numberless miracles, the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live live and and reign reign forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works, the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother, have have wished that the miraculous miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Laveray. Grant, Grant, we beseech you, that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The memorare. Remember, Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protected, inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. The Novena Prayer O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, We, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our mortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us, then, a deep hatred of sin, and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, 
so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode, for you are the Queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us, and ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O Most Powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. Our Novena to St. Jude, Apostle of Hope. Most Holy Apostle, St. Jude, Jude that is, is friend of, servant of, and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor, who delivered the beloved Master into the hands of his enemies, has caused you to be forgotten by many. But the Church honors and invokes you universally as, as the, the patron, patron of hopeless cases and things despair. despair. Pray for me, make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired. Come to my assistance in this great need, that I may receive the consolation and support of heaven in all my necessities, evils, and sufferings, particularly that I may bless God with you and all the elect throughout eternity. I promise you, O blessed Saint Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. Saint Jude, Apostle of Hope, pray for us. A prayer to Saint Jude. Most, Most holy Apostle, Saint Jude Thaddeus, friend of Jesus, I place myself in your care at this difficult time. Pray for me. Help me know that I need not face my troubles alone. Asking God to send me consolation in my sorrow, courage in my fear, and healing in the midst of my suffering. Ask our loving Lord to fill me with the grace to accept whatever may lie ahead for me and my loved ones, and to strengthen my faith in God's healing powers. Thank you, St. Jude Thaddeus, for the promise of hope you hold out to all who believe, and inspire me to give this gift of hope to others, as it has been given to me. St. Jude, Apostle of Hope, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hail, Holy Queen, enthroned above, O Maria. Hail, Queen of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumphal cherubim sing with us ye seraphim heaven and earth resound the hymn Salve.
Salve Nossa.